Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zonky here. So, there was a new kind of combat beta released today, and with it, Jagex revealed that they want to reintroduce special attacks in the game. Um, probably to a lot of the same weapons that had special attacks, maybe to some new ones. I don't know if the special attacks are going to be anything similar to the ones we already have. I will be checking out the combat beta. Um, I just haven't done it yet, so I probably will have a video up on the combat beta uh, later today or tomorrow or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll eventually make one. I just haven't decided. But um, Dragon Claws right now are selling for a crazy price, and I will show you later on in the video, um, as well as the drop that I got. You'll see that. Uh, near the end of the video and all the loot that I got from Tormented Demons, how much I made and all that. But um, yeah, Dragon Claws at the moment, if you get a pair of Dragon Claws, it's about a 12 mil drop. So um, I figured I had heard a lot about Tormented Demons. Dragon Claws are very, very common. Now I can say I have killed about probably 300-ish Tormented Demons in the Evolution of Combat, so not a ton. Um, I haven't gotten any Dragon Limbs or Claws as well as many, 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 many Tormented Demons before the Evolution of Combat. Um, but strangely, I've never gotten a drop here. Uh, I know a lot of guys say, oh, I hate it when you get lucky with the Glace Horse and all that. Well, if you want to see me get unlucky, this is the boss that is just absolutely killer. Um, by far my unluckiest place in RuneScape, but that's okay because I did get my first drop here today. Uh, you'll see what that happened to be when it happens, which is coming up pretty soon. But anyway, um, until the kill where I got the drop, I just sped it all up because nothing interesting happened so far. But um, anyway, I guess the special attacks are probably going to be coming back to the game. They said it depends on user feedback. Um, but I imagine that probably the majority of the players would like uh, some variety with weapons, and I guess it might even help bring the PKing community back a little bit. I don't know if that's too much of a stretch, um, but it definitely could happen. But yes, we probably will be getting special attacks back in the game. Um, I just want to warn you, do not go out and buy special attack weapons, because right now everything is skyrocketing. Um, for example, AGSs are about 25 mil at the moment. Um, Band of God Swords are about 4 mil at the moment. Um, so yeah, just everything that had a special attack before the Evolution of Combat right now is skyrocketing. Do not buy any weapons until the price is stabilized. I would recommend not to buy any special attack weapons um, until the uh, actual update is applied to the game, and then we'll see how much they're worth. For example, the Claws, yes, they're getting a special attack, but is the special attack going to be good, or is it going to be crap? Because you don't want to be stuck paying 12 mil for a pair of Claws that aren't very good. Um, so it's really wise to just wait and see. However, if you do want to try out killing Tormented Demons yourself and getting a pair of the Claws, because apparently uh, they're really common, that has not been the case for me, but I've heard other people say that have been to Tormented Demons that Claws are really common and the drop rate is like 1 in 150 or 1 in 200. Um, and you can get about 50 kills an hour here if doing the method that I'm showing you in my guide. If you watch the guide, link will be in the description. Um, so if you do that method, you can get about 40 to 50 kills an hour, depending on your stats, obviously. But anyway, uh, this is a part coming up where I get my drop. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is how I kind of like to kill Torment and Demons. Um, I just find it a lot easier this way to lure them. And then I do use abilities. A lot of people use momentum here. You can use momentum. There's really not a whole lot of difference. Um between using abilities and momentum, but since I'm using drag wars and drag wars are really, really crap with momentum, I decided to just use abilities here. Um, and then obviously I'm using range as well. And you can use like range and mage if you'd like, but uh, you still have to melee to use the dark light to remove their shield. Um, so I figured I would just uh, melee and range, and that way I don't have to use all three combat styles. But I am using the War Priest armor because I have a comment every single video that I use the War Priest armor, like, what armor is that, bro? It's the War Priest armor. It's still the War Priest armor. It will always be the War Priest armor if it looks like what I am wearing now. So that's what I'm wearing. The reason I'm wearing it is because it's a hybrid armor, so it works for all combat styles and it does not lower your accuracy. And you switch attacks here. And it's really annoying to switch armors here as well. Um, obviously, I made my Tormented Demons guide before the War Priest armors are out. Tormented Demons guide still works just fine. Um, it's not really outdated, just wear War Priest armor, I guess, is the only thing I can really recommend. Uh, but anyway, this is about where I get my drop, and it's not the claws, as you'll see in just a second. I don't want to ruin it. And it's not also just not a very good drop. It's kind of crap. A uh, ruined dragon armor shard. I think it's like 1.5 mil. But anyway, time to price check the loot.
Hey guys, what's up? And I am back with the loot that I've got just from Tormented Demons um, in the runs that I have done since the beta came out. So uh, I haven't obviously done any Tormented Demons previously for quite a while because they just weren't very good money and they, there wasn't much of a reason to go to them. But I can say I've killed 112 Tormented Demons and it took about two and a half hours. Um, and this is the loot that I got. I banked most of the Infernal Ashes. Uh, my yak did die on one trip, and there's a few that I scattered by accident because of reasons. But anyway, um, this is all the drops that I got. So obviously with Torment Demons, their regular drops aren't great. I mean, they kind of pay for your overloads and not really a whole lot else. Um, the Blood and Death Runes are not completely accurate, but that's roughly how much I got. But everything else here is accurate. So about 1 mil from 113 Tormented Demons, and then I add the Ruined Armor Shard, which is like 1.2 mil, so I made 2.2 mil in 2.5 hours. Um, that is awful. But anyway, uh, I'm debating whether to go back or not, because even if the Claws are selling for a fair amount, um, they're still not great money per hour. They'd probably be about 4 or 5 mil per hour if you get regular drop rates there, which I don't. But you could probably expect about 4 or 5 mil an hour there, so if you want to try them out, go ahead. Um, I just probably won't. I think I'm going to go back to Glacors, which are still better money than TDs, even if d -claws are selling for a crazy price. But anyway, I just want to show you my Grand Exchange here. I've never done this before. Never, ever. So I hope you guys feel pretty special. I've never opened my Grand Exchange when I had a big merch in. Um, but I am selling Dragon Claws. I bought these for 5 mil each, and I'm trying to sell them for 6 mil each. They've only been in here for like 10 minutes, so... Uh, even if they did crash a little bit, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I'll probably... They very well might crash a little bit, and I might lose a mil or two, but I don't really care. Um, I'm merging Steadfast Boots because they're amazing profit. I made 8 mil off one Steadfast flip yesterday. I was very happy about that. Uh, Glaven Boots, I'm making like... 200k off each of these AGS's. As I said, AGS's are expensive. <laughs> They're not even buying for 24 mil, and I'm not at the buy limit yet, so they are re legitimately not buying for 24.5 mil each. Um, BGS's are legitimately not buying for 3.6 mil each. Offhand Dragon Claws are legitimately not buying for almost 5 mil each. So as you can see, these items are just skyrocketing. Uh, do not merch these unless you know how to merch and you know what you're doing, because otherwise you could very well lose a lot of money. Um, I very well might lose some money on the d -claws. I just thought, hey, I'm going to get a quick flip in before they start crashing, because we as RuneScape players tend to overreact to everything. Every time an update comes out, we go, ah, and prices raise and lower very fast. So I'm like, hey, I'll get a quick flip in before people freak out too much and the price drops. Um... But hopefully these will sell, and if they don't, it's not a huge deal. I have plenty of money. I don't care if I lose a bit, because I make, like, you know, 20 mil from flipping anyway, so it doesn't take very long to get back. But anyway, um, that's about all for this video. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Try out TDs if you'd like uh, to get try to get yourself a pair of claws, and farewell.